Welcome to another My Theme Shop video screencast. In this video, I will be sharing with you how to fix a WordPress keeps logging out problem. Now, as you work with WordPress and you're creating blog posts and you're working with articles, maybe you're working on media, and WordPress keeps logging you out, this can get very frustrating. And it's one of those things that you may have already tried to troubleshoot things like making sure your plugins are updated. Maybe you've deactivated plugins, maybe you've updated a theme, and you're still having the same issue. So let's look at a reason why. So typically, when WordPress is logging you out, there's a good chance it's because WordPress places a cookie in your browser to authenticate a login session. So if something is mismatched, this can cause WordPress not to be able to authenticate your session, which in turn results in logging you out constantly. So let's go look at these settings. If you can access your admin panel via your dashboard, simply go to your settings and then go to general. And now let's look at your WordPress address and your site address. As you look at both of them, of course, your website will be different. Please make note if they are showing a www version or a non www version. So for an example, if you have your website at www.yourwebsite.com and then your site address does not have the www version, this is usually the reason why you're getting logged out all the time. So this is a very simple fix. You just need to make sure they both match. Now again, one note here is that if your site address is different than your WordPress address in terms of if you have a landing page for your website, but you have a blog using WordPress as your blog, of course, those might be a little different. So you might have yourwebsite.com forward slash blog, and your site address, of course, would be just yourwebsite.com. But what we're focused on here is whether or not it's the same www version or non www version. So to simply fix this, again, just make sure they're both the same and you should be good. But what if, for an example, you cannot log into your admin area and you cannot access your dashboard? No worries. Let's look at this using FTP. Now, I'm using FileZilla, but you might have an FTP software that you prefer better. But simply, what we're looking for is we're accessing our web server and we're looking for the file wp-config.php. Once you have located this file, simply download it to your computer or view it live. Either way, you're wanting to use a text editor like Notepad to add a line of code to this file. Once you have this file open, whether or not on your computer or you're viewing it live, simply go all the way to the very bottom and kind of work your way up. You might have a couple line of code, or it could be the very last code, that you'll see something that says, that's all, stop editing, happy blogging. We're going to add a couple lines of code right above this. So what we're adding here is we're defining where our website is pointing to. So what we're adding here is the same thing that you might see on your admin panel, but we just cannot access that. So we're simply going to override the settings manually via the wp-config.php file. So what we're doing here is we're doing the exact same thing. We're adding the non or www version of our website so they both match. So again, if you're using www, make sure they both show that. If you're using non-WWW, make sure again that they do not have that. If they're mismatched, this is what can really cause this issue. So once you have your settings set, now go ahead and save it and now re-upload it if you downloaded the file or simply save it and refresh your web server via FTP and now everything should be fine. So basically the reason why this works is because if one is showing www and the other one does not, this is actually making it seem like it's a subdomain and it's turning it into two different domains or basically two different websites. So this is what can really log you out and cause the issue. But this way, by making it we're both the same, then when you're refreshing your website, you know it's the exact same website. There's not two of them. And this way, you can authenticate yourself and no longer have this issue. Check out these other helpful videos from our channel. All the videos are in-depth and helpful to not only someone starting out with WordPress, but even to advanced users. Also, please subscribe to our channel by clicking on the subscribe button if you have not done so already. Thank you again for watching, and if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to ask them by clicking on the support link provided.